that we have spent seven trillion dollars in the Middle East and we've gotten nothing for it. Nothing. Less than nothing, as far as I'm concerned. That's over an 18-year period. The countries that are there, that you all know very well, are immensely wealthy. They're going to have to pay for this. And I think the President and I agree very much on that. And they will pay for it. They will pay for it. We've spoken to them. They will pay for it. The United States will not continue to pay. And they will also put soldiers on the ground, which they're not doing. And we will, in fact, bring lots of people home. We will have a strong blockage to the Mediterranean, which to me is very important. Because if we don't, you have Iran going right to the Mediterranean. Not going to have that. But there is a chance, and nobody knows what I'm going to do on the 12th. Although, Mr. President, you have a pretty good idea. But we'll see. But we'll see also if I do what some people expect, whether or not it will be possible to do a new deal with solid foundations, because this is a deal with decayed foundations. It's a bad deal. It's a bad structure. It's falling down. Should have never, ever been made. I blame Congress. I blame a lot of people for it. But it should have never been made. And we're going to see what happens on the 12th. But I will say, uh, if Iran threatens us in any way, they will pay a price like few countries have ever paid.